Yo, what's up you guys? Ethan getting back at it. We're back at a location that you've probably seen pretty recently. And the reason I'm back so soon is because this house is actually going to be demolished in well, probably like two days. Today's Saturday. Um, week, work week starts Monday. And I'm going to tell you why I'm saying that. They dropped the excavator off to tear this down. So I didn't show the exterior the first time. So, look at all the bees flying around. What the heck? Is there a bee's nest out there? Let's, okay, let's do that at the end. Because there are so many like hornets flying around. I think there's like a bee nest out there. Um, this is probably the last time I'm going to see it and I just wanted to do one last revisit and just because this is probably the greatest place I've ever filmed personally so we're going to do that let's just get right into this so again for those who haven't seen it this is new to you to those who have I know a lot of you really liked this so I hope you enjoy the ceilings the sculpted ceilings beautiful you also have look at the crown molding that's not fake, like, you know, Home Depot stuff you buy and stick on. That's the real stuff. That's real crown molding. Um, so I guess a little bit of back history on this house. Um, it was built in 1988 for um, Robert Campo. Um, and uh, he sold it... Um, to a, um, I, I believe he was a lawyer and his wife who bought it in 2002. And uh, yeah, faucets are gorgeous. So, every, there's not one part of this house that isn't beautiful. So just this front entrance, I, I just, I absolutely love this. You have another bathroom. crazy to think this won't be standing in a week. Like, just unbelievable. I'm pretty sure that's not where the garbage bin goes, but okay. <laughs> I think someone's been here in the past 24 hours because I was here yesterday afternoon and that was not open. Dining room, the formal dining room. Chandelier was removed. Imagine the dinners that were had um, in this room by some very, very wealthy folks. Didn't even notice there's pocket doors here. Very nice. Butler's pantry, most likely. Oh, the high ceilings. And then you have your elevator. Pretty cool. Kitchen. So dark in here. The trees cover any sunlight. Um, I've noticed that the floor plans that used to be here, someone took those. I guess it's better than them going to waste. Someone gets to use them and have them and cherish them. Yeah, this countertop, the marble, incredible. Got your two built-ins, and then a microwave, and then I'm not sure exactly what they ripped out, but maybe some type of marble backsplash. That's a fridge. Don't have a free hand to open it, but that's a fridge. Stove top there. 
Um, and then, and that's another fridge. Double sided elevator. I didn't notice this the first time. So, or I noticed this, but I don't think I noticed the old TV. That is so cool for the camera at the gate. And there is an old camera at the gate. So, closet. I don't think we went in the garage last time either. Four car garage. Um, can't really see any. Not that there's anything to see, but. Huge garage. Imagine the cars that have probably been in here. Oh no! What the heck? Why would someone do that? The house has multiple access points. Why would you try and break in? Man, I almost made it without any vandalism. Let's do the basement first. Save the good stuff for later. Let's get the basement out of the way. And then we can do the top floors. What the heck? What the hell? Ooh. See, this is so cool how it's all, like they're all labeled. That is so cool. Um, 1976, 1971, 75. <laughs> um, elevator. That is so cool. I wish this still opened. That would be so cool. Someone set off like a fire extinguisher or something. The floor is all like a laundry room with the two washer, two dryer system going on. Hmm. Then this, if we can get it open, big freezer. This is very expensive. So the fact they have this in their house, like, it's pretty crazy. I'm assuming that probably goes outside. So this we missed the first time, and I'm excited to be able to show you this time. I thought these were all closets, and this kind of goes to show why yeah, I guess you should check certain things. Look behind this door. There's a literal, like, safe room. And then this. Heat pump. Hmm. We are gonna go in there, by the way, but my buddy is currently in there, so we'll do that after he leaves. Here's a little bathroom with a laundry tub as the sink. <laughs> oh man. All your furnace and stuff is just, I, I, the value of just like the copper pipes in here alone is ridiculous. So like if they really truly do bring this place down without salvaging anything, that's just, it's, it's I, I don't even know what to say. Here is the music studio. This is very dark. Um, oh, I should grab my other light. Um, here, one second guys. I just, I want you to see this and I'm gonna set you right here for a second. 
And I'm gonna grab my other light out because I'll, I'll be honest, I, you need to see this. And um, sorry for not coming more prepared. I really am. Um, where is it here? Here we go. Little technical difficulties. <laughs> We're good to go. Okay. Okay. Much brighter. Much, much brighter. All right, let's roll. How's that? Normally people would cut that out, but I'm not even going to do that because that just goes to show that there sometimes are cuts and little technical things that happen when these are filmed. And I like when you guys see how the full filming uh, process is. So... This is so cool. This is so cool to have in a house. You even got the visa sign. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so much brighter. Heck yeah. Not a whole lot to see. Just like storage and like furnaces and stuff. All right, let's go check out this though because like this is unreal. So like, look at these like tanks. Actually, wait, let's go underneath. Yeah, like, look at that. What does that say? No idea what that means. <laughs> Ew, the floor's all wet. Ew. Ew. And then it goes around here, and the reason for these turns is because radiation can't go around corners. Fun fact. That's why that's like that. Okay, and then it comes into here. So you have like a room with a room. I don't know what they specifically what rooms you would have been, but then you have another room that brings you to your like sink, your storage area there. All the tanks are probably like I'm guessing air or water, and then you have like a toilet in there. A shower here that also has a gigantic pipe that goes like way underground. And then all this stuff here. So pretty frigging crazy. Like you just don't see that in a house. I'm so tall, I got a duck. It's so friggin' short. What does that say? PSI? Uh, okay. Okay. And then let's go uh, over here. Oh, just your furnace. Oh, it's starting to flood. What is this water coming from? What the heck? Yeah, it's starting to flood. That's not good. Just your electrical panels, your vents and all that stuff. You know. Hot water tanks. Look at all the pipes. Holy jeez. Is that all copper? Like, I can just imagine the value of this, the copper piping, like I said earlier in here. Now, oh yeah, there's water everywhere on the floor. Is this the address on this? Okay, it is. I can't show up, but there's a something for the furnace from 1989. No idea what that's about. And then, is this, yeah, this was a safe. So, like, look how thick the door is. That is friggin' unreal. I think we looked through it last time. Obviously there's not gonna be anything in it, but like still, it's still very cool to see. And then this room. Oh yeah, people were definitely shooting off like fire extinguishers like idiots because look at the floor.
the bar with the lovely, lovely, it's like a, this reminds me of like a bar you'd see in like Germany, like the style of the, uh, the countertop and just like the, it's just, you know, and this up here, so cool. Oh yeah, this fireplace. Love that fireplace. And then I think this was the sauna. Broken light. That's a very 80s. The brown toilet and sink. Big shower. I don't like this style of shower personally, but I like the old phone. Oh my gosh. This wallpaper's pretty crazy too. There's your sauna. All the rocks are still in it. The saunamatic. Love the smell of the wood. Oh, that's cool. Some like it hot. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, you can see the water damage in the ceiling. Staircase. And then this was just like the stuff underneath the pool. We're not gonna go through it again, but that's all this was. So, again, it looks like there's water all over the floor over there. So something like, it's just stuff starting to leak. Okay, so let's go um, up over here and then we'll work our way to the other side. Freaking basement is absolutely massive. <laughs> Make sure we didn't miss anything down here. I don't think we did. Oh, this maybe. Oh yeah, it's just a cedar closet. Nothing special. Okay. Okay. Let's go cover the rest of this. I believe this was a bathroom. Yeah, it's a bathroom. Like a two-piece little, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And you guys know, actually I gotta wipe the lens. I think I have to wipe the lens. Because like the weight, yeah, I do. That's a little better. Just because the way I've seen the windows, the way it was reflecting. Um, don't want to forget this. Um, yeah, this is insane. This whole front foyer is just like incredible. The dome ceiling, again, would have had the uh, crystal chandelier at one point. That was removed, thankfully. But even, like, this fireplace mantle, like, that's real, like, marble that was imported from France or Italy. And I just really hope stuff like that gets removed before this gets destroyed next week. You have this lovely room here. Like, this is just amazing. Could say it over and over. Um, how beautiful this place is. Office. This house has an office and a library, and this one was the office. TV. 
I see someone took the other TV that used to be there. DVD players, VCRs or something, and then you've got a bunch more of those like 80s phones. This is nice and bright in here, which is unusual. This room was very dark before. This mantle was actually imported from France. I found that out. Um, there's a video on this house when it was still lived in, and that's something that is in that video. That That is from like the 1400s or something. Again, history, literal history right here. So. I really hope they, they take that out because that would be just a shame if they didn't. Built in bookshelves everywhere. Because if you're rich, you probably like to read and stuff, so. That's like real paneling. That ain't no cheap stuff. Parquet floor. Pretty nice. And then this room. Absolutely incredible. The murals painted like France. I'm not going to try and pronounce these because last time I did horrible. <laughs> I'm not French at all, so. <laughs> And then I noticed the room that goes into the pool has a lock on it. So we're going to have to access that from a different point. Which is okay, but it's just like kind of a pain is all. So let's go upstairs and um, oh man it's hot up here I guess it doesn't help that I have a jacket on on a day that's 26 degrees either <laughs> yeah that's friggin nuts man like look at this like what It's just like... I, pr I could probably film this place 10, 50, 100 times and I would still have the same excitement because it's just that cool. You just don't see this stuff. You know, I need a light in here, don't I? I don't need the actual... Big light because it's a smaller room, but I love this. They're like a little like coat of arms type thing. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Like, unbelievably hot upstairs. And then you have um, this beautiful room, fireplace, herringbone floors, yeah, pretty friggin' impressive. Oh, look at that, I just noticed the clamshells. It is way too hot in here. Look at that. You go up and you pan down and there you go. Closet, nothing. A wide open window. Oh, come on. Not 
Not that it matters, but you know. Little bathroom with a shower there. Yeah. I guess we'll do this first before we go to the other side of the house. A room of some sort with a big cedar closet and then there's your pool. Big spiral staircase. A wooden one at that, not like the steel ones you usually see. I love this little cup dispenser, that's such a cool little feature. This is cool. You guys told me a lot about this in the first video, the comment section of my first video. Apparently there's not many of these left in the world and it's very rare and I guess it's from like the mid 50s or something. Aerotone bath. SSV certified, Hyde Chess Cheshire. I probably didn't pronounce that right. <laughs> Again, the smell of the wood, just such a nice thing. This is an Olympic sized swimming pool that does, in fact, have a floor that goes over it and you can make this a ballroom which is pretty crazy I'm not gonna go down there. there's no point but there you go three walkouts to outside which I always say I'm gonna show the outside and I either like I, I forget I'm very bad for that, so I apologize. So I'm gonna do my best to show you this time because this place won't be around much longer and I won't be able to do it next time. So we'll do the master suite first. So it had a his and hers bathroom and dressing area. So this is the his, um, this Italian marble. Lovely fixtures and uh, toilet there, pretty looking gross. There's your shower. All this. Imagine the suits they would have had in here. Just like incredible. You have like a sitting room, and then you come into the master bedroom. This fireplace is so cool. I love the little cherubs. And then you got this guy with an 80s phone. Oh, look at that. Everything's labeled. Imagine this view. Freaking incredible. When this would have been like maintained, just beautiful. Ensuite bathroom. Now, these fixtures are gold plated. I got a lot of comments in my last video that said they weren't. There is an article out from about 10 years ago that states that the master bathroom fixtures are indeed gold plated. That window is just wow. And then there's the hers side of the dressing room. I can just imagine again. There's that. I think it's stopped recording, and I, in, case I, in case I missed it, we're going to do this quickly one more time. The dressing room here. 
Hollywood lighting, mirrors, what's up guys? Yeah, that's insane. Okay, let's keep going. Still got a little bit to go. Um, we have this bedroom. With its own ensuite. That sink is cool. It's like floating. It's not even like attached to the ground. And then you have your shower with the, the dark green marble. Same as on the floor there. Um. Elevator. This was probably your servant's area, or the maid, or whatever. Whoever they really had in, living in here with them. Here's a bathroom. So there's 10 bed, 14 bath is the exact numbers. I believe we're above the garage right now, technically. Um, final step. The third floor. Whew, it's getting hotter the higher up we go as you know heat rises So this part might be quicker because it's not really that crazy anyways, but I Do like this This whole system with this staircase here and this awesome light Elevator goes to all floors obviously And then, uh, another very large room with a beautiful fireplace. That is a closet, I believe. Oh, there is a bathroom. What the heck? Oh, yeah, this is the one with like, the weird, like, raised countertop with like, the texture to it. Nice faucets. And then shower. So many crawl spaces and stuff for like the vents. Almost done. I feel like I've done my daily steps just alone filming this house. Furnace, vents, ducts, whatever you want to call them. And, uh, oh, someone took some copper. That's it though, it's all the copper to take. You go for that. This bathroom's pretty cool, like this flower pattern everywhere. That's pretty interesting. More gold faucets and more what's up, you guys. <laughs> hey, we did it. That's a closet, right? Yeah, we did it. We did it. There it is. Um, probably give some history because we're gonna go outside now and I'll show you that. But on the way down, let's talk about history. So yeah, um, it's built in the late 80s and uh, 30,000 square feet to be exact. Like I said, 10 bed, 14 bath. Um, and it's it's been in TV shows, it's been in suits, it's been in It Takes Two. Um, there's been parties here for uh, Pierre Trudeau and uh, Jane Fonda has had a, a party hosted here for her. so pretty interesting stuff. But um, 
I just, like you don't, this is like a once in a lifetime kind of like explore and you just, that's kind of why I'm doing a revisit so soon. Um, you know, I just, uh, it's gonna be gone in a few days and I just thought, you know, thought you guys might like to see it again. So, um, we're gonna head down this staircase here and we're gonna show you the backyard and wrap this up outside. Um, let's go at this door here. Okay, good, it does open. These steps are friggin' insane. I didn't show the exterior last time, I don't think. So I'm gonna do it this time. There it is. So you'd walk up here came down that one, let's go down this side, or up this side, rather. Don't think I'm gonna have to go back inside, so let's pull this door shut, we're gonna go around front, we're gonna wrap this up. I know some people really like to see like the grounds and the outside, so. For this one, we will do it. There's one of the basement doors that I pointed out. Heard a weird noise over there. It's probably obviously on camera, but... Cobblestone driveway is not cheap. Beautiful property, even overgrown as it is. Stunning nonetheless. Now a lot of people I've had asked too what these orange fences are. Basically, they're just around trees that they're not allowed to cut down during the demolition of this house or the construction of the new house. So there it is guys. Let's get a shot without that excavator in it. There we go. And then there's with the excavator. I dropped that off, I believe, yesterday. Look at the fountain. I think it's funny because I've housed, you know, how high end this house is. Look what it says on the excavator, if you can see that. See it? Rolex. How suiting that an excavator that says Rolex on it is going to tear down Canada's, Canada's formerly most expensive house. Look at the weeds. I'm 6'5", and that is up to like my chest level. Okay. That's going to do it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this revisit. It's probably gonna be the last time that I'm ever here, unfortunately. It was really great. I got to show you guys this place that I was able to document it. So even if they do tear it down in three, four days, I was able to document it. And technically it's around forever now. So um, if you did enjoy this video, please hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you thought. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next Explore, okay? Peace.